welcome back to another tutorial of pixel magic today we will going to learn the process of uh, how to design a professional logo and what are the steps of it so first of all before starting directly on illustrator you have to get some relevant information about the company from which area the company belongs to and in which area the company is working as for their request you have to find out relevant images that means uh, some relevant logo of the same category present in the market so out of which we have to build a collage all the competitors logo and some same categories images so that we can have some idea or inspiration from them and then is the rough sketch part from where we are going to draw some rough sketches out of those uh, images means inspired from them and we have to do some do some rough sketch on a pen and paper and from them we have to collect two or three or if it's possible the final one from the rough sketch we have to do the refinement sketch so the steps will be followed by this so let's get started so today is uh, got a project from a grocery store and the name is Mahalaxmi departmental store and his request is to concentrate to place MDS in their logo keeping the groceries up in mind I have downloaded some of the images you can see over here S some of the relevant images are from those I made a collage and out of which I'll do the rough sketch work you can you can download 15 to 30 images 30 relevant images to do the first process first step of the logo designing so this is called your mood board from here you can get some idea how to do it you can inspire from those idea don't try to copy it. so here are the some of the chosen logos out of the rough sketches these two and the previous one from this I have decided to go for this one and from that I have uh, done the sketch as you can see on the screen as the logo defines a grocery shop the it's just overall look it represents a trolley shape under wheel R underneath here is the M stands for Mahalakshmi and D D for departmental and S for store the MDS the shape is almost looking like a trolley I can start sketching my digitized version of this logo by placing it to Adobe Illustrator so I have already scanned this image or you can take a photo, photo of it using mobile phones so here I am taking a size of canvas 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel you can take your own as you desire which is better uh, as you am going to design a logo so I just taken a square sized canvas so I am going to place it here it is now making it resize and uh, visible enough to power pressing but using selection tool making it a little bit bigger for better clarity so after you finished your resizing the logo you can go to layer lock this layer because in this layer I'm not going to do anything else just want to have the shape in its place and I'm go going to start tracing it by adding another layer just click, go, uh, click over there to have a new layer and with pen tool I'm just going to draw the overall shape 
here I'm taking field is none and the stroke is one with black outline see I could have due to these shapes uh, as you can see this shape I'm just going to decide it go for none field shape because I have to add some cut look to the logo to have a 3d representation 3d three dimensional view that's why I just cut out the shapes in between see here just try to trace as close as possible you can make the adjustment later and try to finish it off with less number of anchor points because as much number of anchor points will be there there will be less smoothness if the, the anchor point will increase then the smoothness will decrease so making some minor adjustment this is done then going for the middle part starting from M dragging it here no need to hold shift or anything else just click on the mouse and where you need a curve just click and drag it will be create a nice and good curve and using those handlers you can adjust the curve later also the bar is the handler so moving on and uh, trying to finish it off keeping in mind uh, I have to put less points so I'm just trying to finish it off with less points to keep the smoothness up so whenever straight lines are there we can hold shift for perfect straight line you can see over here I am holding shift and that's why the straight lines are quite perfect you have to keep in these minor details in mind whenever we are going to design any look the remaining part is the curved line in between the shapes these are the lines I'll join these lines to the shape later see while doing this you may not end the line that's why you have to deselect the lines whenever because you, as you are using pen tool before if you are not closing it then it will not be gone so we have to deselect it by clicking the selection tool now going from the wheel part when you would have uh, you may need some ellipse so holding shift you could get perfect circles so I am not drawing it within the shape part the sketch what I did because I just have a different plan for that the wheel should be in a different shape that's why I am just doing it outside those skates
can even need to copy save just hold alt and drag the mouse to get a copy of it now selecting both moving to its place and holding shift I can add this to save now for the theme part again going for the pen tool so after doing one shape I can copy it out and reduce the size by holding shift as you can see here also I'm not following the sketch because the lines are way much far from each other that's why I'm trying to just precise it in a better way so I'm not following over here the sketch selecting both them moving towards the inner part so now the time is to join those lines what I build join those lines with the shape the main save so selecting both the save I'm um, clicking on save builder tool I can cut out the extra part by holding all symbols so you can see the minus symbol by pressing alt it will show the minus symbol now for the next selecting both line and the save single one by one I have to clicking on save builder holding alt again for the builder portion and the upper part see the saves are also became different from one uh, one are divided from one another it will be easy for us to paint it in a manner in a gradient flow that will be shows um, gradient effect or 3d effect you can say so from here we need to separate these line segments first of all combine this and uh, separate it from each other so using shape builder tool you can see that here the shape is separated like that for the remaining part the bottom and the topmost part I will do the same thing selecting the shape and the line one by one and just going for the down part bottom part you can see yes see you can see it's separated from each other and test it by dragging them see all are separated so you can put you can put different colors in these shapes now moving on to the color to make it colorful so I'm here creating two three three rectangular shapes with gradient field so that I can easily access those colors and can apply those things direct to the shape underneath so for that select the fill go 
go to gradient effect select the shape make the fill to a color I have just planned to the first rectangle with blue and light blue gradient second one light blue and dark blue gradient and the last one having some golden effect so I am just searching for the gradient tool here it is by default it is black so you can change it by clicking here edit gradient after clicking you can see two dot lines are there so clicking on them we can choose the color I'm going to going to color guide to select my desired color and for the sec the second half with deep deep green first one is ready for the second case again I'm doing the same thing clicking on gradient then on edit gradient and clicking on those points changing the colors clicking on those points I can now choose the color from color guide for the last one I am going to have some golden gradient Yes, I'm choosing orange color and yellow color. This is here. I have to choose orange for first one. And for second part, I have to choose yellow. Light yellow would uh, give a golden effect on the shape so now we can adjust it by moving the slider and adjust the angle also from here if you put that angle you can see that it is changed and you can adjust over here moving the same glider the slider you can see so now it's time to color it up so you can choose your own color own combination of color here I'm trying so better to before putting these logos to your company or organization you have to show some variety of color and variety of fonts so at least be ready with two three kind of color combinations and two three kind of font also so from them the organization or the client can decide which will be shoot their logo if they have not mentioned any specific color if they have mentioned then you have to stick to those colors and uh, find out what will be the perfect combination and regarding the font you can download the font from free websites like dafont.com or free fonts or 1000fonts.com but while using them commercial version try to uh, read the license from the author if it is commercially not approved without author authentication so at that time you can charge the client with the font price or you can use free fonts without any problem so 
so in this way you can have uh, different combination of colors as you can see it's just providing a kind of 3d effect so i just don't want to waste much more time over here to coloring because you are matured enough to give different kind of color but here i just plan to have some cut in m to match the overall look of the logo what i missed in the sketch also so i'm drawing some lines over here and repeating the step as i did for the outer shape using shape builder tool combining those lines and just differentiating dividing the shapes from each other so that i can use different color so here is the color combination and now i just left the wheel part as uh, i want to just look like be like a wheel so i want to minus these inner circles to from the outer circles so for that i'm just dragging out the smaller one outside now selecting both the shape i'm just clicking on minus front so that it looks like a wheel and for the middle part again i'm doing same thing i just want to cut the inner circle from the outer one if you are not finding pathfinder from here means that the cut mark only can be done from pathfinder by select by selecting the shape you can go to effect select the shape go to effect and you can see here pathfinder from here you can do anything that you want as it is mentioned in graphical way here so here the, the inner circle is cut out and it's look like a fill so now it's color time color time for the fins here also individual i can color or i can select both the three shapes and at a time i can color them as i am i just planned to give the same type of color for the wheels also i just want to apply the same gradient that is blue see these colors also heat and trial method i'm just trying to ha trying to just finish it up and look how it look then if i'm not satisfied with the result then i can make some changes i just copied it out by holding alt just there is some outer line i just delete it make it none the outer line was black in fact the stroke was black just i make it then then just i am here making some adjustment to the color to give some better effect now the overall logo is ready now next step is to add the company name so here i'm just starting from the basic I'm just typing it out and then i will increase the size of the font and will place in different format so that i just want to try how it looks better i'm just trying from the scratch so just try to match the fonts to the shape size select them and i can change the font over here as i said before you can download any specific font for this project or any logo you are designing just start from the scratch don't use the uh, usual fonts what is given just try to download something different and apply them so here also i am doing the same i just download something else that is aqua wax black i think this font will match little bit good also i am going to try some two three more fonts for this project and i will color it up as per the logo design so here you can see i just inserted a leaf uh, which is a brush tool using brush tool i just in inserted a leaf 
and as I said I just want to have a different color combination so I just did it for the below logo and here I just created another shape using pen tool itself and gave some effects to them to make it little better and here a shadow I have created so I will tell you how to make that shadow let's go to ellipse create it with like this and apply gradient effect to it you can see here so click on middle and reverse it and adjust the glider as you can see here if you adjust them then it just look like a set so in this way you can adjust it and also reduce the opacity to look like a perfect shadow so here you can see this is the final port and uh, this font I have downloaded from the com, uh, which is uh, is the demand of the client that this type of fonts be used and you can also try it at home uh, with your knowledge you can change the color and you can change the shape I will provide you the link of the font and sketch of this logo so that you can try it of your own if you are finding any difficulties you can ask me question in comment section and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel so have a good day and goodbye and take care and be at home as the lockdown is going on better to stay at home and stay safe thank you very much